What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and this is a video I'm going to call Pitching Tips 2.0. And now I just released Hitting Tips 2.0. Um, this is pretty much my own technique that I've been using a lot in BR to win games. Just a, a pitching combination. Now, Pitching Tips 1.0, another great video that I put a lot of time into. I suggest that you guys give it a watch if you haven't seen it already. But this, again, with these 2.0s, are more of an update on online play. And I want to talk about specifically BR versus moving up the boards and playing in World Series. Now, I think this is going to work very well <clears throat> in BR. This is pretty much how I like to pitch in BR. I like to, I'm using the, the view that I'm using, by the way, is if I can go to it. I think, let me uh, just throw one pitch here. But the view that I'm using is, uh, I really like this view. Uh, it is, uh, Pitcher zoom, that's a view that I like to use instead of offset. It just, um, I don't know, it's a pretty nice view. Give it a shot. Pitching view doesn't really matter too much. You can be successful with a lot of different ones. I just, I'm putting this part in the video so you guys know what view I'm using. But I like to use pitcher zoom. Now, with when you're playing on all-star and a low, lower, you know, the pitch speed isn't that high. So what I like to do is I like to throw a lot of low and off speed because I really can't blow fat. I can't put this pitch up here and blow it by somebody because the pitch speed isn't high enough. So what I like to do is I like to throw a lot of change ups low and inside. And I always like to spot it just a hair below. So it is a ball. Um, you can spot it in if it's, you, know, you need to throw a strike really bad. You can spot it in and throw a strike. But I like to spot that change up low and inside. And then I like to spot this slider, you know, just right down here. Right down here. So I'm going to throw that right there. And then if, you know, like let's say they're just laying off. They're just like, I, I feel like they're in take mode. They don't want to just keep knocking the ball into the ground. And they're also not doing what I talk about in hitting tips 2.0 where they're just moving their PCI down and crushing the ball low. Because you got to look at their swing path. Is now I like to take the fastball, right? So I'll combo with the fastball right in the zone. So it's either gonna be it's either gonna be a change up low that's out of the zone, or it's gonna be a fastball right there. So you gotta make a decision. It's like do you wanna swing and you're not gonna know if it's a fastball in the zone or if it's a change up outside of the zone. Same with the slider, you know. It's not a very good slider there. I, for some reason, I really got to focus on my sliders and just going up and that's a pretty good one. It's My brain always wants to push the analog to the left instead of straight up and down on a slider. But we're going to use that slider low and away. And if he wants to lay off it, then I'm going to throw, not that, I'm going to throw the fastball in that same spot low. So it's like those they're going through the same pitching tunnel for the hitter. The hitter's either going to think, is this a change-up low or is this a fastball? And that fastball is going to sneak by him a lot of the times because they're trying to lay off low. Now, if you then if you see him going down after it a lot, then it's going to open up that pitch up here where now they have to protect low and take away the lower part of the piece, uh, the lower part of the strike zone. And now we can start hitting them up in the strike zone with the fastball too. So, and then with pitchers that have, you know, like a cutter, uh, you can put the cutter low. You can put the cut. I, I don't like to throw cutters out here. I'd rather throw them in here, or I'd like to throw them to a left-handed batter right there. But I want you can throw the curveball the same way, you know. Let's put the curve right on the edge. Put the curve on this edge. I'm sorry for not executing the pitch very well. And then again... Mix up the fastball to keep them honest in those spots. Stay out of the middle of the plate. Stay low. Most people are going to set their PCI up. They're not going to be setting it low. You can find out if the player that you're playing against is going to chase a lot by setting it low. And then on the upper levels, though, I do on the upper levels, I do like to throw a lot more up. I do like to throw the high and inside fastball a lot because it's it's so much more difficult. Uh, to chase or I mean it's just it's difficult to get around on it because it's so fast so you're gonna have a lot more success you know getting up in the world series level by throwing some fastballs up and in and uh up and away it's gonna get on them so quick when you throw a fastball down here the miles per hour on it are slower it goes maybe like let's say you got your guy throws a hundred 
if he throws down here, it might be like 98. And if he throws up here, it might be like 101, even 102, depending on the pitcher. So that's kind of pitching tips 2.0. Uh, I love the splitter. I love to put like a splitter like right here, a little off the corner, but in. So instead of like putting it right on the corner, I like to throw my splitter like right here to a righty or a lefty. It doesn't really matter. I like to throw them right there. And I like this uh, pitcher zoom view a lot. I try out all different kinds of views and all kinds of stuff, but check this one out. See if you guys like it. And uh, check out the original pitching hit tips video, the new hitting tips 2.0, and the original hitting tips. And I also have gameplays on the channel and like a lot of other advice as far as like which cards to take at certain levels as you go the XP reward path and all that stuff. Uh, please drop a like on this video if it helped you out. It helps the video out tremendously, so I'd appreciate it if you did that. Subscribe if you want more MLB The Show content. You can follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash moviegamingtv if you want to see me play live and also follow me on twitter at movie gaming tv if you want to stay up to date with when new videos are dropping and that's just like the best way to get a hold of me is just uh send me a message on twitter i try to respond to everybody as best i can so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video and peace out